Hey guys, what's up? Josh Mall, the voice of Arizona Cycling. I'm in downtown Scottsdale at Regroup Coffee and Bicycles hanging out with uh, co-owner Alex Reitzinger. Alex, how you doing today? Great, how you doing, Josh? Yeah, good, man, good. Uh, glad to be out here with you and checking out this really cool um, bicycle slash coffee shop. They got a lot of neat stuff going on. Why don't you kind of take us through uh, what you guys have going on here, Alex? So we're obviously um, a boutique kind of bike shop, um, coffee shop. And um, Niner is our uh, bread and butter of our mountain bike brand. Um, we carry Cervelo, um, Spooky, number 22, uh, Mosaic, uh, Lightweight, and uh, a few other brands. And um, we have a full service shop um, to cater for any mountain biking, road, triathlon needs. And um, if I can help you, let me know. Yeah, so take us through. Um Take us through kind of what's going on over here with the coffee side of things. That kind of plays into more the uh, a little more of the social aspect. So um, great social scene going on over here. You know, get your bike fixed, grab a coffee, grab some great pastries yep. these guys have down here. Um, and of course, uh, you guys uh, you guys do a group ride, correct? What's the scoop? Yeah, we do a group ride on Sundays at 8 a.m. It's kind of casual um, coffee socialized group ride. Um, and uh, just, yeah, just kind of um, a little socializing and some great coffee from Presta Roasters in Tucson. And uh, yeah. Uh, and you guys have a waffle truck that comes like every other Sunday? Every or other Sunday, we have a waffle truck out front. Um, yeah. That sounds like, whether you're here to group ride or not, this sounds like a great place to be every other Sunday. Um, you guys also have some great art on the walls. Um, who's, uh, who's, it looks like you kind of got a little bit of a, a resident artist yeah. here. Yeah. Justin Pierce is a local artist from uh, Chandler. Um, we just wanted to kind of support one of the local artists and um, push some of his um, art. And um, he's doing a couple, um, like a, a, a wall of um, our legends, so to speak. So we have a uh, Laurent Fignon, um, old legend road cyclist, um, up as our first guy. And uh, more, um, more pros and uh, old legends to come. Right on. Well, great stuff, Alex. We appreciate you hosting us here uh, for the uh, January mid-month um, uh, summary of what's going on in the uh, Arizona cycling world. So, uh, you know, I think I'm going to grab myself a cup of coffee, sit down, and uh, we'll go over what's going on and uh, let you get back to work on these beautiful bikes you're working on. Yeah, thank Thanks you very so much, Josh. Thanks for coming yeah, in. Thank you. Have a good day. Hey, guys. Josh Mall, the voice of Arizona cycling, back with you here at Regroup Coffee and Bicycles. Going over the month of January, what's happened so far and what we got up ahead. I want to start with the Papago 6 hour. Had a great day of racing out there. The weather was absolutely fantastic. Um, had some great battles in the solo category. Albert Weimer was there, solo, single speed smasher. Also, Craig Strite, who ended up taking the win over uh, multi time national road champion Eric Mark Hopp. Um, quite an exciting race. Um, had the VR7 Village set up out there, and that was such a success that uh, we're going to be setting that up again at Barnburner coming up in August. Um, so it was a great kickoff to the uh, 2017 cycling season. Uh, following week we had McDowell, that was this last weekend on January 7th, the McDowell Meltdown, MBAA number one, almost 900 racers out there. We had new MBAA gear, a great a group of sponsors on board, um, and of course everything went off without a hitch until we got to the final round of awards where we had a little bit of a storm, uh, a storm cell moving in that kind of clobbered us. So, no big deal, it was a great day, and uh, we look forward to carrying that momentum into MBAA number two coming up on January 28th at Estrella Regional Park for the Hedgehog Hustle. Also want to talk about uh, the Verado Velo, first year of this race, a uh, criterium race, technical course, cool weather, fantastic, uh, the rain held off, it was absolutely fantastic. Uh, we've got great feedback on the course despite the technical turns we had out there, and we're gonna be back out there probably on May 20th to race again with a few alterations to the course to just make it that much more exciting. In the pro race, it was quite a battle. We had a little bit of a crash out there, uh, world champion Brandon McNulty taking a little spill and uh, injuring his hand a little bit, so that was truly unfortunate, but he's gonna be back on his bike before we know it. Also, that Sunday the 8th, we had the Rock and Roll Marathon, and a few guys were out there. Dan Cadrill, I know you did a 310 out there. That was absolutely fantastic. Joe and Steve Ring uh, racing out there as well. Joe doing the full marathon at a 338, with Steve doing the 131 in the half marathon. Uh, shout out to Sean Bernardi, Mike Green, uh, the Foltz brothers, uh, Jessica Foltz, Monica Foltz, and everybody else that was out there racing. So we want to thank you guys for uh, getting out there and getting active at all the great events that were going on. This weekend, Prickly Pedal getting canceled, or not canceled, but postponed rather, to April 1st. 
I want to give kudos to Kalen, Jeff, Laurel, and the rest of the board for making that call. That's a hard call to make. I know that gets under the skin of a lot of racers, but when you really look at it for the greater good of the trails, that was the right call to make because the last thing we need is cold racers marching in a line from point A to point B, destroying the trails and their bikes all at the same time. We can just go out on April 1st and have a great race and tear it up. So um, big shout out to you guys for making that call and to the racers that were looking forward to racing on Saturday. We appreciate your understanding on that. But uh, despite that, April 1st, you can count on that great start going from Flat Tire Bike Shop all the way out to the 10-lane boat ramp at Lake Pleasant. Uh, going to that big party, we're going to have live music, we'll have the shuttles running back and forth, um, so it's going to be a great day regardless, so don't forget to mark the calendars, and uh, do what I'm going to do this Saturday, go skiing, I'm going up to Sunrise, going to take miles up, and uh, we're going to do a little snowboarding, it's going to be a lot of fun. Now, on to future events, here's what we got coming up, uh, Sunday, we got the Avondale Crit, Avondale number one by Carlos O'Brien's Racing, year after year, this is a great crit series, you guys aren't going to want to miss this one, Brody, so don't forget, head over to the website, sign up for that, you can sign up at swsportsreg.com, um, also, coming up on the 28th, like I said before, you got the Hedgehog Hustle, NBAA number two, out at Australia Regional Park, at the, at the foot of Phoenix International Raceway, it's going to be a great race, uh, so we want to carry that momentum in that we had from the McDowell Meltdown. Also coming up on the 28th, you got the Santa Catalina Omnium. On the 29th, you got the Oracle Road Race. And on the 4th, you got the Santan Criterium. And on the 5th of February, the Sun Devil Crit. So mark your calendars for all of those. Going on, on February 11th, we're going to be out at Lake Havasu for MBAA number three. The Havasu had Havoc presented by Mud Shark Brewery. And if you haven't been out to that race yet, guys, put it on your calendars. It's one you're not going to want to miss. Mud Shark Brewery really rolls out the red carpet for us. And the facilities out there at Sarah Park where the race is located are amazing. The trails are fun, flowy, and great. And you get some beautiful lake views. So it's going to be a great weekend. Also that weekend down in Parker, if you're into drag racing and loud engines, that's going to be the place to be before and after the Havoc because the Arizona Drag Boat Racing Association is having their uh, drag boat race out there. And they're going to have some top fuel and alcohol boats out there as well so more than just sportsmen and eliminator class it's going to be really cool so come on out that'll be at the blue water casino on the 12th of february you got the mcdowell circuit race coming up at mcdowell mountain park that's always a great race um 12th or um, february 17th through the 19th you've got valley of the sun road race and we'll just go over that a little bit that's gonna be really exciting i'm excited I'm gonna be out there with, for the crit with you guys on sunday for that one but of course, it's a three-day uh, three stage race, starting with the TT race out on Sun Valley Parkway, uh, west of the White Tanks. Then you've got the road race uh, near, near uh, Casa Grande, and then the uh, crit coming up in downtown Phoenix, right in front of the Capitol building. So uh, over at, uh, we'll get some detailed course intel up on the YouTube channel. So stay tuned for that. If you want to find out more, check out www.wmrc.org or go, and you can sign up there for that race. It's going to be a good one. There's a lot of people coming in from out of state for that one. So we need Arizona to really represent at their home state road race. Um, now, getting on to the next thing, a couple updates. We've got the new Instagram uh, page up at Josh Mall the Voice. So Josh Mall the Voice, go over there and uh, follow that page. Also on YouTube, subscribe Josh Mall the Voice as well. That's where you're gonna have that updated content. Lots of extra stuff, extra things coming up. Talking about the uh, Arizona uh, Arizona bicycle races, plus a little more on the sports car side because you know Alex and I here. There's one thing we're also passionate about. It's our sports cars and Porsches. So. Uh, you'll see a little bit of that stuff going on there. So that's where there's going to be the extra content over on YouTube and also at Instagram. Now, um, the last thing I want to talk about before we wrap up, coming up in March, March 10th through 12th, the Cactus Cup. The Cactus Cup is coming back, three days of racing. It's going to be exciting. We got, pardon me, we've got some big money being invested by sponsors. I'm not at liberty to say who, but there's going to be some big name pros coming out from today and yesteryear. So all of you guys that were racing back in the old days come on out we want you to get dust off the old bikes we're also looking for uh, memorabilia things like that uh, you can message me over at the Facebook page to find out how we can uh, how you can get me that stuff so we can get your stuff on display at that race but uh, we're gonna have cute races strider races lots of great stuff going on bigger than anything we've had in Arizona in a very long time so uh, from here regroup bicycles and coffee here located at 4227 North Brown Road 
just north of Indian School Road, east of Scottsdale Road, not hard to find. Uh, I'm Josh Ball, the voice of Arizona Cycling, and uh, I want to thank you for watching this update for January 2017. Thanks a lot, guys, and stay safe out there on the roads.